it's my first day in Borneo and I arrived here about 10 hours ago and originally today was going to be a day of chilling, relaxing but it's a new island, it's a new country, it's a new city so I thought I'd get out and about just to see what this area is like just get a uh, first few good impressions which I'm starting to get so I am in a city called Kota Kinabalu and oh sorry I've not had much sleep I've had about four four hours but the main reason I have to come out is there is a Sunday market just down here just around the corner from the hostel where I'm staying at and it's it's a really really nice hostel uh, I got in at about half past two this morning I just dropped my bag to next to my bed crawled into my bed space and tried to sleep but one of the things I do like about the place is the fact that most hostels you'll just go in they'll give you a key they give you a key in a little little thing called this and it's got oh, your, your room number on and your, your bed number on and then you open it up and it's a map of the city showing you all the sites never seen that in a hostel before so that my first impressions of this place uh, driving from the airport to the, the hostel it's a um, cleaner city than I've been to in the Philippines which is where I've just come from oh look at all these cars are they taxis? they've all got names of cities on the side of them that might be a uh, I need to know. No, no. So as I said, I wasn't going to do any filming today. It was just going to be a, a, a chance to catch up with some sleep, uh, get some uh, me time. However, this is the state of one of my flip flops, which I'm still wearing at the moment. Um, they are falling apart I need new shoes I need something to wear on my feet that's not going to just fall, collapse on my feet Oops, now I met I've been out this morning already I came down this way to get some breakfast uh, the the hostel I'm staying in, the food and start till 11 o'clock. I think one of the reasons I was not sleeping was because I was quite hungry. And food is important. So I wandered down that way and found a place called um, Nook, Nook Cafe. Recommended, really nice. But it was when I did a little bit of research because I haven't got any uh, data on my phone yet and that's going to be something I'll probably do tomorrow if I need it uh, but with the Wi-Fi KK is famous for its Sunday market people come around from miles around to come to this market and it's just over here No, you're okay, thank you. Oh, look at that. So it's getting used to the cars being on the left-hand drive side. It's also getting used to the money as well. Where uh, with the Philippines, everything was in the thousands. Over here, it's in the hundreds. And uh, market is over that way. <laughs> now, the, online at this year, it's only open on a Sunday morning, closes at one o'clock. It's now coming up to 12 30, 
So I'm hoping that's still open. And the other thing I want to really buy is this World Cup. Now this I've had for about 10 years. I got given it to me in Sydney, Australia. Uh, the only other one, and it, this is just not the cleanest. It's never been washed in 10 years. And it's been everywhere with me traveling around the world. It's a little bit stinky. And the only other baseball cap I've got is uh, one that's about Cambodia. Cambodia, which was a fair few months ago. And I just fancy getting the one that didn't have a country name on it. Now the cafe I went to is just around the corner from there. So I did pass all this this morning, but I was half asleep. Uh, and there you've got the market there. Now I do know what the score is for crossing the road. So my plans at the moment is to go down the market, have a look around, see what it's like. I will be here because I booked in at the, the hostel for one night, which is all I booked in for on Hostel World. Um, at half past two this morning, I knew I didn't want to wake up and start moving again. So I've actually booked for two nights. Uh, it works out £10 a night to stay there. Uh, are we on the road? Yes. So I am planning on being in the ho ho hostel for two nights. Move to a cheaper hostel. KK! Move to a cheaper hostel. Uh, tomorrow and then I spend four days in the city because there is a lot to see and do right oops they're not they weren't going to stop ah. Fine. Yeah, this is a lot quieter than when I passed this morning. You can see some of them are packing up. But if you want a bargain, this is the place to come to. Ah, oh, baseball caps. They're a bit too gangster for me. Yeah, maybe I should have come a bit earlier. So it looks like it goes all the way down and it's both sides. And it's everything from food. Oh, been stopped. It's full round. Food, clothes. Hats. So far, no flip flops. Sorry. Oh, football tops. A lot of bitch top teams. Uh, still not seen any flip flops.
A lot of plants being sold. A lot of football tops. So when I read the reviews for this place on uh, online, it was saying that 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, this place is crazy busy. Oh my god, crossbows. I'll be seeing that hand it taken at a little backpack. Let's go through customs. It's a super deal. So I have a visa for uh, this part of Borneo, which is the Malaysian part, for 30 days. Uh, having a look around the island, um, the map last night, this morning, there's not that many places to go to. It's only a small part of Borneo itself. So there is a chance I could only do about three weeks unless I spend more time in these cities than just chill. Uh, oh, I thought it was at the end. There's more. Well, you get a lot of that, which is Sabah, and that is the, the area that we're in the state. I only know that because when I filled in my uh, visa paperwork online uh, at the customs and they said, what state you're in, I had to go to my little helper at uh, the customs desk. She goes, Sabah. Oh, this is the end. Ooh. You've got a cowboy hat. And this is the end. Uh. What I'm going to do is put more shops at the end, put more stalls. I hit that and walk back down. I've seen no flip flops, and I can feel it edging its way to complete destruction on my feet. I don't think anybody else knows. Hello. Hi. Anything for you? Like and follow our page? Uh, no, you're okay, thank you. <laughs> Free drink. <laughs> I think they're advertising a bar sort of be alcoholic. Not while I'm so tired. <laughs> Do to have like, a cocktail and start falling over? This is me being sensible. Which is something you won't hear me say too often. Oh. So all the cafes around here, all the restaurants are just full of people. But lots of tourist items to buy. But again, all gangster. 
I've got a new hat. Now, I'm not used to the money. I have no how much, how much it was at the time. It was 38 ringgit. Uh, she looked at me and went, oh, I'll give you for 35. And I went, I'll give you 30. Not knowing how much it is. Uh, so I've got it for 30 ringgit, which I've just found out is £5.20, which, you know, is, is still cheap. Uh, she went to 30 so easily. I could have gone a bit more, but hey ho, uh, I just need to find out where any shoe is. It's a serious path up at the moment. Very colourful architecture. While I am here in Borneo, obviously it's world famous for its animals, its wildlife. Um, I'm going to be <coughs> trying to do as much of the coast as I can because some of these beaches are meant to be amazing. In fact, I think that's the sea down there. Oh. But I will be also going inland towards the mountains. Uh, I have looked at things like climbing mountains. Unfortunately, I don't think my fitness is good enough. But I'll still get up some hills, if not mountains. I, I'm still looking for any shoes. Now, when I came over from the Philippines to here yesterday, I actually wasn't wearing these um, flip-flops. Oh, there's a bit of history for this place. Dyer Street, in English as well. So yeah, I didn't wear these there uh, for travelling over. It was uh, my trainers. Try and beat this. Oh. Coming back out. More hats over there. Karaoke singer over there. And a van behind me. That's why I'm trying to walk very fast in a flip flop. <laughs> that doesn't work. Let me go past. Nope. No shoes at all. Oh, there's a sign that says night food market. Every Friday and Saturday. Damn! So this market is only on a Sunday, once a week. So I missed the food market last night. Uh, however, I am planning on doing a loop to go around the whole lot. Okay. Ready for yeah. That's interesting though. I might have to have a look online and find out more about SIM cards for this place. But there's just lots of nice green areas. 
We've got fountains that actually push out water. Yeah, I'm starting to warm this place. Oh, there's more. Oh, it's a big old place. Right. I want to have a wander down here just to see if there's any shoes at all. So this is more of a food market, selling local veg, fruit. But no shoes. Oh wow, what's that? And if you want some fish. Wow. Yeah, this is more locals than tourists. Today is going to be a day of just resting. Uh, we're going to go back to the, the, ho the hostel. hostel. Uh, but first, I am going to try to find myself a coffee shop and chill, relax. But yeah, my first impression of this place, of Borneo, although Borneo is a big old island with three countries in it. Uh, this is just the Malaysia side. I fight like the traffic is not crazy. There is no one beating the horns like the usual in the Philippines. Uh, it feels a bit more relaxed. I don't know if it's because it's a Sunday. Um, it's more colourful and it just didn't just look like a construction site. I mean, there is a lot of hotels around here, so this is like the touristy end. And I have got a cold still lingering, which I'm still trying to get rid of. This is another reason why I want to have a rest. Chill, do nothing. But I was excited about coming out. But yeah, I like it, it's nice. So I'm going to go back to the hostel. Uh, Tomorrow will be a day of exploring, of seeing the site. I have a map to show me where to go, to tell me what to see. And then, yeah, probably four nights in this place. I think there's plenty enough to do. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can hire a moped, even though I've not seen one on the road yet. But if you've enjoyed this video, have a little walk around the local area from my hostel, see the market, see me buy a new hat. It's got a little polo sign on. Then, yeah, press that like button. If you want to subscribe and see what the rest of Pony is going to be like, then press subscribe. Press that little bell button there and it'll be notified when you get a video of mine coming out and they're usually daily um, yesterday was the first daily one I didn't put out that's because I was traveling but until next time I'm not to find a coffee shop bye bye for now <laughs>